Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have my poetry collection video which has been highly requested by you guys and y'all want to see my poetry collection so I'm bringing it to you today. It basically is this whole shelf so that's why it's empty. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Books Amino slash Amino in general. So thank you so much to them for helping me out with this video. So before we jump into all the collections, I just wanted to share with you guys what Books Amino is about. Basically with this app, you it is called Amino and you can download it on your phone and you can join different aminos. So you can join a book amino, which I am going to be talking about more, but you can also join a poetry amino, a there's so many, literally anything, LGBT, feminism, cats i'm in a cat board okay i'm on one of those cat or <laughs> cat ones i'm that person um there's also ones for like tarot cards one for emo one for metal there's like just a bunch of them and in these aminos they include posts and chat rooms and polls and all that sort of stuff and you can really find people within your community and the, the aminos are all really positive um each one has like their own kind of rules so you obviously can't slur hate speech into some of them because you will get kicked out but it is like a safer space and i know for those people who don't make videos on booktube or don't have any bookish friends in real life that this would just be a great outlet to go to to talk to other bookish people and if you want to join books in amino i will have the link down below and i'll have my screen name so you can add me on there if you wish to do that but yes thank you so much again to books amino for sponsoring this video and let's jump right into all the poetry collections up here I have is The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. This one is divided into the wilting, the falling, the rooting, the rising, and the blooming, and it's a really beautiful collection. I enjoy this one much more than Milk and Honey. I don't think I own Milk and Honey anymore, but The Sun and Her Flowers was definitely one that I was really impressed with. I have Bone by Eurisa Daly Ward. I probably pronounced that incorrectly, my bad. Um, so this book deals with a lot of tough subject matter, and it's one that has received a quite bit of praise, and I was quite let down with this one personally so I don't really have much to say about this one but next up here I have stuff I've been feeling lately by Alicia Cook and this one is written like a cassette tape and it's written like poetry and then the back is the same poem but with blackout poetry which is really cool and adds a really cool touch to this I did find this one pretty solid so I was happy with that one next I have Born to Love Chris to Feel by Samantha King and yeah it was good as well not my favorite but it was good i have my long leave collection so i have love and misadventures i have the universe of us lullabies which is one of my favorites of hers and i also have her newest one but it's buried in the stack so you'll see it later but lullabies and the newest one have been my favorites from her have a brilliant madness and black butterfly and these are really cool they're full of lots of pictures as well and yeah as you can see these all have tabs in them i do quite enjoy reading my poetry so it's that then i also have teaching my mother how to give birth by worth and shire this one is super hard to explain very short probably the shortest little thing out there it's supposed to be really good i just thought it was okay in my opinion but yeah yeah i wrote this for you collections by ins thompson so i have wrote this for you just words i wrote this for you just words uh i wrote this for you and i wrote this for you and only you and these are gorgeous collections and they're such great starters and they have photos in them as well and they're just so beautiful and i think anyone can relate to all the topics in this and you can even look at the table of contents and then read a certain collect like read a certain poem when you're feeling in, in like a particular mood and it's just really amazing and these really got me started to my rh sin collection i've I think all of his i think there's one more like small version that i'd have to buy on amazon i think but i have rest in the morning again i love rh sin so much his work is some of my favorites 100 percent next i have his newest one which is planting in gardens and graves volume one i have whiskey words in a shovel volume one whiskey words in a shovel volume two and whiskey words in a shovel volume three so these are all 
fantastic, by the way. I also have a beautiful composition of Broken, which is probably my favorite from him, and as well as his second newest release, which is El Jadonic. Next up here, I have You're Doing Just Fine by Charlotte Erickson. This is Poetry and Prose. I was actually sent this quite a while ago by the author, and I love this so much. It was so amazing, and I made a whole video about like highlighting and annotating it, and I really enjoyed this one. This one is Chasers of the Light, poems from the typewriter series by Tyler Knott Gregson. I haven't read this one yet, but it's pretty. It's pretty. is Amanda Lovelace with The Princess Saves Herself in this one and The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one, which, oh my god. These are so good. They're so feminist and powerful and meaningful and they're also great starters for poetry and they're just so empowering and so worth the read. Just read them. Next up here is another one I haven't read, but that is It Shouldn't Have Been Beautiful by Leah Purpura. I saw this one at Book Outlet. I was like, sure. Next I have Helium by Brudy Francisco, which again, I just heard about this one and I'm like, you know what? Sure. So I need to read that one still. Next I have Love Her Wild by Atticus, which was floating around for a while. I personally really, really love this collection. There was one poem in it that bothered me in particular, which knocked me down a 0.5 rating. But like, other than that, I loved it so much. And it's full of photos and poems. That's like a breeze on my face. Um, but it's absolutely stunning. And I really enjoyed that one. Next I have Entwined by Cara Beatrice. This one I received for review a while back as well. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Going into the one by Lang Lee that I mentioned before, that is Sea of Strangers, her most recent collection from the time I'm filming this. And this one was really amazing. It was one of my favorites from her along with lullabies. Next I have Flux by Oren Carlotto, which this one I was quite disappointed in. Not a fan, but it was okay. <laughs> Next up here I have Wild Embers by Nikita Gill, and this one is also very much like Amanda Lovelace. It's very feminist and empowering, and I really enjoyed this one when I read that. And Next I just have two collections by Sylvia Plath, so this is actually my classic poetry, but Sylvia Plath amazing. One of my favorite poems is by her, which is Lady Lazarus. Love it so much. And this is not including my all my Poe editions. Poe is another one of my favorite poets, but he has his own video. So check that out. Link down below. So there you guys have it. That's all the poetry collections I own. Let me know what your favorite is. And I know I'm going to get a million questions of where to start with poetry. Start with, I wrote this for you or like The Sun and Her Flowers, because a lot of people start there. Or if you're more into classic poetry, Sylvia Plath, Poe, great ones. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and also a big thank you to Books Amino for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys check that out, and I'll have the links in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you super soon. Bye.